Many times when working on a new product, my teammates want to see progress of what I've been working on with different types of materials or colors. But too often, these screenshots out of SOLIDWORKS don't tell the whole story. In the past, I've used PhotoView to render these types of examples, and while I'm able to get the result that I need, sometimes it takes far too long to get a result. I've also spent quite a bit of time learning about how to use PhotoView. Why do I need to use another tool? Today, I want to show you just how easy it is to use SOLIDWORKS Visualize and how what you already know about photography, lighting, and photo view still applies when using this new tool. So here's the phone model that you saw earlier. And since I've already rendered it once with photo view, the materials and scene are, are already set up. All I need to do is import my model to visualize to get started with rendering. So in this case, I didn't have to spend any additional time. Also, SOLIDWORKS Visualize is a standalone application. This means that I don't need to tie up my SOLIDWORKS model or license just to render a couple of images. Also, the rest of my team can continue working to finish up the interior details while I'm busy working on the aesthetics. The first time we open Visualize, we get this simple, easy to use interface. Right away, my model is starting to render, and I'm using the same buttons that I'm familiar with to rotate, zoom, and pan from SOLIDWORKS. Along the top, we've got options to adjust the quality of the render and position of assets, while at the bottom, tools to adjust how I want my scene and model to look. This simple interface makes using Visualize easy and straightforward for new users. While this scene matches what I had in SOLIDWORKS, I'd like to change it up and really make this project come to life. I've also used Visualize a bit already, so I'm going to switch to the advanced interface by pressing spacebar. Earlier, I created some gold appearances that will look amazing on this phone. So switching over to the Libraries tab, we can find all of our pre-saved assets. I've got appearances, cameras, environments, they can all be found here, as well as an expanded cloud library when new and updated assets come out. Having all these assets in one central location keeps me focused on the task at hand without too many paths to sift through. Adding new appearances is easy. I simply find what I want in the library and then drag and drop onto my scene. This texture on the phone display doesn't quite represent what I want. So switching to the appearances tab, I can easily change its type to emissive simulating a bright AMOLED type screen. I have access to many different types of parameters here, allowing me to fine tune even the stock appearances from Visualize. Decals can also be customized. The ones that I'm using here are transparent PNGs, which means that I can leverage the embedded alpha channel and let the material come through. I can even adjust the finish of the decal by assigning an appearance, giving it a customized level of depth that just wasn't possible in photo view. These kinds of attention to detail will make your product stand out and let you communicate your ideas more effectively. The model's looking really good now. However, I'd like it laying face down on the floor to show off some of the details from the back. Switching to the model tab, I can quickly rotate the model and snap it to the floor with just a couple clicks. I'd also like a second instance laying on top of the first one at a slight angle to show off the screen. Using copy and paste, I can quickly insert a second instance. The preview mode comes in handy here, keeping the graphics fast while using the triad to move the model. By using Visualize directly, I didn't need to use SOLIDWORKS or call my engineers to make a change. Everyone stays focused, saving time and resources. I need a bit less light in the scene though, maybe something with a soft overhead light that will reflect off the screen. Let's try out this box light with bounce cards. From the Scene tab, I have full control over the brightness if I need more light, as well as rotation to place the model in a different location. On the Advanced tab, I've got a few other options including reflection and roughness of the floor. These simple lighting options allow the scene to render very fast, while still accurately representing how light is received by the camera. Finally, I want to add some additional camera angles to highlight some of the fine details Switching to the camera tab, I can adjust the aspect ratio and lens size. I'll also add some depth of field to draw my audience in. These settings let me manipulate the view just like a real camera, giving me the kind of control I'd expect from the real world. Now I can copy and paste, adjust the position, and then set the focal distance to get the perfect set of shot. This saves time and keeps all of my settings consistent. Lastly, I need to create some high quality renders that could be used for publishing or review from my teammates. Here I've got some pre-saved profiles, 
or I could even create my own if I don't want to have to remember the settings for the future. Let's use this all cameras setting and use the offline render options so I don't need to keep visualize open. All right, so you guys saw just how easy and intuitive it is to use visualize. I added appearances, repositioned the model, adjusted the scene, added multiple cameras, and produced these high quality final renders all within 10 minutes. And I didn't even need to open SolidWorks. So the next time you need to render your project, try out Visualize and impress your boss or your customers, making them question what's reality. Even before those first production samples are made, saving time and money and allowing you to make design decisions earlier in the process. Remember that this version comes free with your SolidWorks Professional and Premium licenses, as long as you're on active subscription. You will need a serial number which you can find on the SolidWorks customer portal under the My Products link, but if you need help finding it, give us a call or email and we can help you get started. If you need additional capabilities like animations, multiple light sources, or interactive images, or maybe even an offline render queue, an upgrade to SolidWorks Visualize Professional is also available.